New Zealand's indigenous Māori culture and customs have for years captivated the interest of the international traveller. It's the foundation of New Zealand's tourism industry. And now, more than ever before, tourists are coming to New Zealand to experience something truly unique. Historically, the type of Māori cultural experience has been one where the visitor would sit back and watch without participating. These days, a large number of tourism activities now incorporate some aspect of the Māori culture. Whether it's learning about stories and traditions, or just being involved in a prayer or karakia. A lot of our clientele want to get right in depth with our karakia. They email back and want to know the words. They want to have a greater understanding to find out why we do this. Uh, it's a huge part of our product. Rotorua is the centre of a huge variety of Māori cultural experiences. It's where the country's first visitor guides escorted sightseers around the natural wonders of the region. Today, it's a highlight on any Māori cultural itinerary. Well, this is where tourism first started, Rotorua. So we know all about tourism. We've been in it for 150 odd years. Today, what I've noticed is that the visitor is far more discerning, far more sophisticated. You have people who are intellectual seekers, looking to seek knowledge, different knowledge to add to the plethora of knowledge of their own. Others are looking to be uh, treasure hunters, looking for that little treasure item they can take away with them that's special. Māori cultural experiences are available throughout the country and more than one in five visitors to New Zealand gets to experience some form of the indigenous culture during their stay. And research shows satisfaction levels are a lot higher among those who get involved in an activity which features some aspect of the Māori culture. Oh, that was fantastic. It was really a cultural awakening for me because I've never seen the Maori culture before, so it was a good, good experience, yeah. A really good way of doing it because it's realistic and rather than just being told, you're shown and involved in it as well. Tourism, I think, for Māori has changed dramatically where we were once um, a backdrop, but now we, we're in charge of who we are as a people, our culture, and how it is portrayed, which I think is very important. We're now starting to tell our stories in, a, in the fullest sense than what they probably were. Chef Charles Royal offers a very different Māori tourism experience, tapping into a desire by visitors to get into the New Zealand bush and learn about indigenous foods. People always have said to me, if you want to get to know a culture, you get to know the food. There's a lot of interest in, in traditional and indigenous ingredients because of the health factor. There's also plants out there that you can bathe in, that you can use as a poultice, which is all to do with um, your health and well-being. New Zealand's Māori tourism is about interpretation and connection and bringing New Zealand's landscape alive. It's about sharing the stories and traditions that have been handed down over the centuries and creating an authentic experience. Portiki Adventures in Auckland gives visitors a unique insight into the Māori culture. Tours could include art galleries and even artists themselves. What we're trying to do is show them a window into our lives today, so we show them Auckland through our local eyes. We do a lot of customising experiences, things like um, having an incredible young Māori musician take them to a bird sanctuary and show them the traditional instruments and how they relate to birds, going to visit Māori artists in their home. Pretty unique experiences that are very difficult to find. At first I was, it was quite difficult because I thought, in my house, you know, why would people want to come to my house? But it's developed that um, a lot of people come here, they, <clears throat> I think they're looking for the experience to go to your home rather than to, say, perhaps a gallery. I try to offer visitors here a, um, a unique opportunity to learn a little, little bit about our culture and our art. New Zealand is the youngest country on earth, but it's a country that has a rich and vibrant history, a unique Māori culture that sets it apart from the rest of the world. Māori culture is in a renaissance period. It's certainly not going to sleep, and it certainly will be around for many more generations. We're growing stronger with it because we're proud of it. We stand tall with it, and we stand tall as New Zealanders as a result of doing that as well.